Okay, this is video number three in a five-part series of the five things that you should be aware of before moving to Florida. These are the warning signs and video number three is talking about the condo association dues. So if you're thinking about purchasing a condo, then really listen up because there are a lot of changes happening right now. This is just a quick four minute video and my name is Machik Zaremba. I'm a real estate agent in Sarasota, Florida. If you have questions, just drop some comments and I'll reply to anything you ask. So let's get into the condo association problem, which is only a temporary problem. This is going to resolve itself over time. But what is going on here? We had some law changes after the Surfside collapse. If you don't know, we had a building uh, in Miami that collapsed. And since then, there's been some new laws that have passed that require a structural inspection on properties. Next thing is they also need to have a reserve feasibility study, making sure that there's enough reserves in the condo association's bank account for all the major items that they are responsible for fixing. This used to not be the case. So what happened is we had a double whammy with a financial requirement. None of the associations had money saved up for a structural inspection. None of the associations had a feasibility study done to make sure that they're holding enough money for major repairs that they're responsible for. And then when you bundle that with Hurricane Ian in September 2022, that did a lot of damage. Well, unfortunately, everyone's condo fees went up. And these are specifically condos that are three stories or higher. So pay attention to that. If you're thinking about buying one, it's really important to read through the paperwork of everything that the seller is disclosing and that the association is disclosing as well. Very important. And by the way, right now I am at Coquina Beach, which is Bradenton Beach in Bradenton, Florida. This is such a beautiful place. Take a look at this drone footage as I keep talking about what is happening and what you need to pay attention to because a lot of people don't know about the condo fees and the condo problems that are happening. Now, I know that there are a few associations out there, especially the beachfront ones, which have had their condo fees double. They went from 500 to 1,000, from 600 to 1,200. Really, it's a temporary measure to make sure that they save up enough money for all the reserves that they need to hold back. And they also have to spend tens of thousands, if not $100,000 on a structural inspection. This is now a requirement every 10 years as long as the building is old enough. Now I've done some long form videos on this because this is such an evolving big problem and it's really affecting over 1 million residents in the state of Florida. The condo market is going through a turmoil right now and let me tell you there's a lot less condo selling but there's a lot more coming on the market. And if you're thinking about purchasing a condo in the state of Florida and it's not three stories it's just a zoned condo Dominion. Pay attention to this because even though the law has not affected any one of those condos, that includes two-story townhouses, that includes the villas, that includes the regular single-story condos, those are not affected by this law change, but I'm pretty sure that those condo associations are going to take the lead in adapting the same rules that the three stories or higher condos have implemented. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be some more feasibility studies done even on the smaller condos. Now look, this is just a quick four minute video talking about the condo fees and what you really need to pay attention to. This was an important one. But next is also important. Our next topic of discussion is insurance. So wait right here or click right here and let's get started.